Hello, my friends, Andrew Fantasia here, and I want to take a moment of your time to t take a moment of your time. I sound like a door-to-door a -door Bible salesman. Let me start that over. Hey, everybody, Andrew Fantasia here, and I wanted to talk to you today about something very special. So if you're watching this video, it's because you enjoy our Marvel podcast, Infinity Rewatch, that I do with the absolutely wonderful Ryan J. Marvel. That man knows more about Marvel than Marvel knows about Marvel. But if you listen to our show, you know that Ryan and I are both waiting patiently, sometimes not so patiently, for some Marvel board games to arrive in the mail that we kickstarted many, many moons ago. We have been talking about them nonstop on the show every week when we're supposed to be talking about Moon Knight. Well, I'm happy to say that my wait, at least, is over. Ryan still has to wait till June to get Marvel Dice thrown, and when that comes, rest assured, you will hear us squeal with glee for the whole duration of whatever episode we end up doing. At that point, it'll probably be Miss Marvel, but right now, my game, Marvel United, has arrived. And I wanted to show you guys what it's all about, because you've heard me yakking and yakking about it. You're probably like, Andrew, what's this game? Who cares? We're here to listen to you talk about Moon Knight. This is why I care so much about this game. Let me just show you what it looks like. All right, this is it. This is Marvel United, and it's just a simple old game where you have these beautiful miniatures right back here, and you just go around uh, this circular board, and you play cards, and you are the heroes, and you're just trying to work together, united, you might say, to stop some bad guys from doing bad stuff like burning orphanages or selling Bitcoin. And that's it. It's a really simple game. It's fun for the whole family, which sounds like a weird fake thing to say, but it really is. It's, you know, kid friendly. If you got kids, it takes like no time at all to set up. It takes like tops half an hour to play. It's so quick. You'll be like, wow, I've, I can play three more rounds of this. This is so fast. That's Marvel United. Isn't it beautiful? This is what I was waiting for. Well, technically, this is not what I was waiting for, because right now you're probably saying to yourselves, Andrew, you handsome, handsome man. I don't see any X-Men characters on that box. How could that possibly be Marvel United? You're right. There aren't any X-Men characters on this box. So technically, this isn't Marvel United. Technically, this is Marvel United. There you go. You got some X-Men right there. -na 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 -na. That's them. And now it truly is. United, because now you've got X-Men characters to handle, and there's purple miniatures too, which means that those can be heroes or villains. Isn't that clever? Magneto can be an anti-hero if you wanted to, because that's kind of his deal. But Andrew, you suave, debonair gentleman of the night, you're probably saying. That still, I, I don't see the point, because there's no Spider-Man characters on either of those boxes, and Spider-Man's the most important character in Marvel. I agree. Um, well, you're right. So, technically, that's not Marvel United. This is Marvel United as well. There you go. You're entering the Spider-Verse with not just one, not just two, but three spider people and a goblin, if you're into goblins. And that's it. That's Marvel... Wait a minute, Andrew. You beast. What about... The Fantastic Four? You can't have Marvel without the Fantastic Four. Of course you can't have Marvel without the Fantastic Four. That's why this is Marvel United, okay? That's it. This is it. Fantastic Four rounds out the whole thing. You got your Avengers, you got your X-Men, you got your Spider-Man, and you got your Fantastic Four. And look at that. There's a Silver Surfer in this box. Beautiful. The box is blue because so are they. And that right there is why I was waiting so impatiently for this beautiful, beautiful game to arrive. Because, oh, excuse me. Because Marvel United is worth the wait. But Andrew, we've all seen the films. We've all, I think, traded the cards in the early 90s, just like you did. That's it? That's what you were waiting for? Okay, but the thing is, that's not it at all. Because what about Thor? What about Thor and his Asgardian homies? They need some love too. Of course they're getting some love too. Yeah, but what about the Black Panther? I didn't see him on those boxes. It's because he's in this box. It's because all the Wakanda stuff is in here. You can visit Wakanda in this box. You don't want to visit Wakanda? You don't have to visit Wakanda. You can go to outer space because the Guardians of the Galaxy are in outer space and that's where you'll find all of them. Right? There you go. That's why. Everybody's there. Everybody you need is right 
there. Almost everybody you need is right there. Because there are, of course there are other people. Of course the X-Force is here. Because why not? Why not? Look, there's Cable. Everybody knows who Cable is. Now he was in a movie. That's how people know who people are. And there you go. Oh, well, there you not go. Because Thanos is a thing. Thanos is a thing. And if he snaps his gauntlet, there's going to be trouble. So that is Marvel United. The Infinity Gauntlet is the end of the line. Kind of. It's also kind of not the end of the line because there are different teams in the X-Men. Here's the blue team. They're, they're wonderful. There's Rogue. She's the best one because she says things like, Sugar, y'all ought to learn how to behave. That's why she's the best X-Man. Second best. Beast is a little bit better because he's just cool and he reads Shakespeare. But what about bad guys? There's, of course there's bad guys. Of course there's the Sinister Six. This game did the Sinister Six before Sony did. And if Sony ever gets around to making that movie, it's not going to be as pretty as this. Okay. That's why I was waiting for Marvel United. That's the reason. All of that goodness, all of those juicy candy-colored Marvel fun pieces of fun in all of those boxes. And that, my friends, is why I was so excited and waiting so eagerly for this Kickstarter delivery to arrive. But Andrew, really? That's all you were waiting for? Just a bunch of little flimsy boxes full of miniatures of characters like Cable and things like that? Really? That's what you were all up in arms about? Well, if we're being entirely honest, no. Because there's also this giant box full of other characters that weighs a lot. <laughs> With like Vision and Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange and Spider-Woman and, and Nebula and Drax and oh my god, this, this is also part of Marvel United. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at the girth of this box. And as we all know, it's not about the girth, it's about what's inside that counts. And trust me, what's inside is all of this. So yeah. And Kingpin. See Kingpin right there? That's Marvel United. Okay? All right, we all know you're going to say but Andrew a fifth time or sixth time, and I'm going to have to double down on what I promised by being even more honest with you, because this is Marvel United. Did you know that there are a lot of X-Men? My God, are there a lot of X-Men, and they're all in here. And that is why I was waiting for so long, because this is what I get inside this box. Dear Lord, my muscles aren't strong enough for this. I'm going down, I'm going down. And there we go. That's what I'm talking about, right there. That's what was absolutely worth the terribly agonizing 11 month wait. So you've seen the pretty shiny boxes, um, but why don't I give you just a quick peek at all the little miniatures and beautiful cards and characters that come in all of these boxes of goodness. Let's hit the table and take a look.
And boom, that's it. That's it. For real this time. That's it. I am absolutely done. That is Marvel United. That's it, my friends. That's why I was so excited. That's why Ryan was so excited. That's why we kept talking about it. And that's why for the next several months, nobody will see me because I'll be too busy playing with all of these toys. In the meantime, I hope you had fun checking out these insane boxes with me. I will see you slash you will hear me shortly again on Infinity Rewatch. Until then, everybody, please have a marvelous day.